Welcome back awesome action toy fans and subscribers it is a joy toy Warhammer 40k double bill chaos time we have chaos space marines crimson slaughter sorcerer lord in terminator armor who looks absolutely fantastic and on the right we have the black legion chaos lord in terminator armor very 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 cool indeed let's take a look at the boxes <laughs> sides the name on one side and just general information on the other and on the back we can see here both the uh, figures we see that the chaos lord and the sorcerer both come with unhelmeted heads though it's not shown on his sort of i on his inventory of what he comes with uh so that's a bit interesting or maybe it's the helmet comes off no it can't be new head and we see you got the alternate head the unhelmeted head for the chaos lord too both come with that vicious looking gun, slightly different paint schemes, uh, different amounts of spare, oh sorry, is the head is there, I missed that, different amounts of spare hands, two and four, interesting, very cool looking figures, I really hope they got the same shoulder articulation as the uh, Ultramarines Primark, uh, Robert, Robert, Robout, uh, Gui Lehman, is that his, that his name? I have no idea. I can't pronounce it. Because uh, he's got much better short articulation than the standard Space Marines and Terminators. So, so we'll see. Right, I'm going to unbox these and set them up. If get into this, if you like this sort of content, please consider joining the Patreon. It's free for seven days. You can cancel any time in those seven days and do not be charged. There's a link in the top right of your screen now. Worth joining to see everything as soon as it's uploaded. No longer needed to wait around for... Three days, three weeks, sometimes five or six months more, depending on my uh, published list for YouTube. So I only publish one a day, but I tend to make more than one a day videos. I've got a backlog already. Okay, so I'll be back in the internet with these bad boy setups. Stay tuned. And here they are. Now, they both look spectacular, but they both suffer from the same problem. And yes, you've guessed it's the usual problem. It's the shoulders are really terrible for lateral articulation unlike the ultramarines primark who's got very good lateral articulation in comparison almost flat almost 90 degrees okay so the sorcerer the crimson slaughter chaos lord in terms of armor sorcerer uh, he does come with two hands so standard he's got the right hand trigger left hand gripping his other two are reversed right hand gripping left hand trigger they both come with the uh, base. This is the Sorcerer Lord uh, unhelmeted head here. It's not bad. Like blue at the front, it would look like he's got buck teeth or something, but you know, it's not the best head. Much better with the helmet on. And then the Black Legion, he comes standard with his unhelmeted head, so I swapped it around. Um, he comes with four hands, but this is a little bit confusing. He comes with, so standard is left gripping, right trigger. He comes with left trigger, and then he comes with right gripping, but also he has another right gripping. Sorry, he comes with two more left grippings, which doesn't make much sense to me why they have two more left gripping hands. So the only thing I can think of is maybe there's a, dis a difference somewhere they haven't spotted. Let's have a look. So you've got two here. Oh, sorry, I'm telling a lie. Those are the same. It's right and left. So where's the other one I was looking at just now? Here we go. It's two right gripping, ha gripping hands, I should say, not two left gripping hands. So here they are. Now, forgive me for thinking that they, they do look the same. So maybe there's been some error with what I've been sent. I'm not seeing any different. Oh, I see. One's got the spike. One hasn't got the spike. That appears to be it. But otherwise, they look pretty much identical. Um, very stiff on that hand. Way too stiff. Very stiff on that hand. Uh, this other gripping hand is a lot easier to oops to move a lot more malleable so that is a bit better so let's back up lose them let's get a close look at our big boys here so first of all uh, chaos sorcerer lord sort of little white eyes there 
loving the um, details there is there is some inking it's hard to see but he has got it you can tell that he's not just red it's a very dark red you can see it here on the forearm and on the uh, fingers a little bit but it needs to be more you see the sort of dry brush and highlighting on his cloak which is one piece skinny thighs still miss leg there you see more of the shading in the recesses here as well and on the waist section there but i still feel it needs there needs to be more but he does look good he's got this sort of bag of whatever on there and he got a skull there which looks like it's probably a space marine skull it's the right sort of size for it does look pretty good and that new gun is awesome okay the chaos lord again he looks fantastic very very nice love that head sculpt it's got these that dark angel head on there it's got another bag and this is a gene stealer head it looks like on there maybe someone can tell me in the comments if i'm wrong his waist part is a bit loose but it's okay his axe, which is, I believe, his nose awesome, is joined by the cable to his uh, arm there, which is a bit, a bit unusual. So, uh, quite a unique arm. And good details on the lower legs as well. And it looks like it's actually the same jacket, just a different colour. Let's have a quick check on that. Yeah. Save on production costs, just paint it a different colour. Which is not an issue because it is very, very nice. And again, the spikes. Just different things. Very, very cool. With the guns, I'll take the gun out of his hand. Okay, let's get a little closer look at the gun. Just slightly different colour for the Sorcerer Lord. Handle's got that big, nasty hook there. It does look pretty cool. The chainsaw attached. You can take out the magazine but there's no sort of bullet that you can see inside it still is a nice feature to have I love the uh, sort of darkening around the top there around the barrel towards where the projectile comes out but there's a bit of paint slippage you can see around the base here with that gold sort of seeping out a little bit but very cool articulation will be approximately the same I think I use the Chaos Lord. This is also a Lord, sorry, I'll get there in the end. Let's get that out of his hand. Great looking staff. Get his gun out too. So, bear in mind with the helmets when they have different ranges of motion if they're unhelmeted. So, start the back, nothing on the back that I can see that can move. Head, so forwards, backwards, and this is quite bendy, which is quite nice. So it's good side to side, and you can look a little side to side too. Shoulders, that is very stiff, but not in a ratchet. Shoulders go round. Nah. There we go. Uh, lateral raise is like, yeah, that's just terrible. Look at that. That's all he gets in the lateral raise. There's a bicep swivel. He's getting uh, just under 90 degrees on his arm there. Can't get any further now due to the sculpting. Then hand, you know, is the barbell joint, so he can move in all directions and you can pivot. He's got upper body, so he can turn from upper body. He can dip side to side and forwards backwards and with the waist together, Great forward dip, great, mm, not bad lean back. Sideways is good, sideways is good. Hips won't go very far outwards because of the armor on the sides there. Same for forwards, we're gonna really restrict the motion backwards as well. So it's very small. There is a thigh turn, there is a I'll say a, no, there's a double kneecap and get just over 90 degrees. It's a little bit ugly underneath, it's all right. Then the feet are on a ball, so you've got a just popped it out of the joint as well. So you can turn left and right, you can do tippy toe, you can do dorsiflexation, and you've also got a 
Oh, that's such a tough. Ah! Yeah, this time it popped off on the other side. You've also got a, trying to show you, toe articulation as well. Okay, so his feet are a little loose. So the articulation of these guys is not bad. They are both big boys. Some of the bigger of the Chaos releases. So let's get an idea of height. Get my fitted tape measure. So our Sorcerer Lord to the very, very top is around about 18 cm. And our Chaos Lord to the very, very top here is around about nearly 20 cm to the top of there. So they are large boys. To the top of the head, excluding the extra parts of the helmet, he's about 13. And he also is about 13 cm. So on the larger side of the... Uh, of this of this 118 scale for this line bear in mind there are bigger there are much bigger as we've just seen recently if you saw my review of the ultramarines uh, patriarch now if i compare to a body one victor victor warsuit pilot because he's on my desk you get to see how big they are in comparison i don't think he stands much of a chance unless he's in his victor warsuit didn't have a fighting chance because they are just so much more bulky powerful and got the term that around and he hasn't a nice pair of figures, really nice. I think they've got great shelf presence again, but I'm just really not happy with that shoulder articulation. It could be much better in my opinion. And they know how to do it, so they've done it with uh, the Primark, Ultramarine's Primark. But never mind, they do look amazing. This is awesome actually with something else, and please like, share, subscribe, check out the Patreon. If you've not done so already, link in the description below along with discount codes from the better recommended toy sellers. Okay, stay happy, keep collecting. See you next video. Bye-bye.